in case I don't get a chance to say it again, remember who your teammates are now. They may end up being like Billy and I, being your best friend. So we named the team the Arizona Ramblers because the Ramblers existed in 1933 um, with the pioneers that started our game of softball. And I wanted to just pay homage to those women that are pioneers and then even to the women that played on the Ramblers in the 1980s. Growing up, I idolized my brothers probably the most. They were just, that's who I wanted to be like was them. They were phenomenal athletes and great at everything they did. I took up the game of softball when I was eight years old. My parents put me in rec, and then from there I played a couple years of rec and then moved on to start playing club when I was 10 years old. Coaching Kara, it's a strange story because I started coaching nothing but boys. And Kara came to me one day and asked me about, how about coaching me, Dad? And I didn't know nothing about coaching girls, nothing. Everything that you think about my career, I wouldn't have done it without my dad. I know that the coach always put me like in right field and my dad said, hey, why don't you give her a shot in the infield? And if she does bad, then cool, but give her a shot. And once they gave me a shot to play shortstop, I never left shortstop ever again. Um, both my parents, of course, were there and supportive, but the extra hours that me and my dad spent on a ball field after he'd work long 10 hour days and drive home in traffic and come home and still hit me ground balls and pitch me wiffle balls when he's tired and, and the long treks across the country um, overnight because we couldn't fly because we couldn't afford it. Um, you know, my dad is my world. And now that we get to share this experience, our experiences, and now we're giving back to the game. And I have daughters that are on this team and now he's coaching his granddaughters. I wouldn't have asked for it any other way. The biggest memory for me that stood out when I was playing at ASU was making it to the College World Series in 2002, my junior year. It was a special moment because I got to play with teammates my entire career. Um, my second baseman, we played together since we were 11, from 11 years old all the way through college. I mean, it was the best experience of my life, along with one of our pitchers at ASU, both whom were in my wedding and both whom I talk to still today. I started coaching club because honestly, I, I look back at the career I had and I truly love this game. And I feel blessed for the opportunities that I had. I was put in an environment with coaches that were phenomenal that allowed me to like live my dreams. I traveled the world, I got free college education, I made great friends, great teammates. And I honestly felt like it was my calling to go and impact other kids' lives and give them the same opportunity because I felt like I know how to get them to those, those positions where they can accomplish their dreams. The significance of 1933 is when the Ramblers first began. Um, that team lasted until 1958, and, and during that time, they won three national championships, and they had many of our biggest game pioneers and our legends, um, Dottie Wilkinson and Billy Harris, were a part of that group. Wow, Dot Wilkinson, what can you say about her? Toughest lady I've ever met. I had a bad reputation. <laughs> Nobody wanted to. Nobody wanted to slide in the home plate. They wanted to come in and knock me down. So I got knocked down a lot. One time I got up and knocked her down. She's like the Babe Ruth of softball. Um, started at second base and then they moved her behind the plate. So she's like a legendary catcher in our game. Tough. Led the team. Was a pioneer for the, the game of our softball and still to this day loves the sport at 98 years old, still loves the game of softball and wants to share her story. I went all through high school. And then when I graduated high school in 1948, I went on to Phoenix College. And I was only there one year when the war broke out. And I went to, went to work in the defense plant out in Goodyear. I never thought there was anything that to do except play softball. I thought that was what the world was all about. <laughs> Billy Harris is resilient. I mean, you got Dottie Wilkinson, that's the Babe Ruth of softball, and Billy Harris is the Jackie Robinson. Um, resilient, a resilient lady. She was a phenomenal pitcher. Um, she was a left-handed pitcher that threw hard and she dominated. At one time, they, they said she threw too fast. The longest game I ever pitched was 29 consecutive innings. And there again, uh, we won that game one to nothing. 
she had to go through not only um, fighting to play because she was a woman, but fighting to play because of the color barrier. She faced a ton of trials and tribulations and had to fight hard and, and her team had her back, which was amazing. But there was times when she couldn't sleep in the same hotel as her teammates or eat at the same restaurants. The coach would say, we're going to stop at this place uh, in Benson, Arizona, and we're going to, I'm going to treat you all the steaks, you know, so we all get out of the car. The waiter came and said, well, we, we can't serve her. And coach said, well, why? He, he, he said, we just can't serve her. At the time, the coach said, well, team, let's go. And the waiter said, why? He said, well, if you can't serve her, you can't serve us. Just a resilient, resilient woman that, you know, like Dottie and we admire. Those are the pioneers of our game. Being on the Ramblers is a huge opportunity for growth, to learn the game, to learn IQ, to be a better person. It's like, it's one of the most amazing thing that's happened to me softball wise because Coach Kara has taught me so much and I've grown so much through this experience and this journey and I wouldn't be anywhere near the person I am today without them. Coach Greg and Coach Kara, they don't just make us better players, they make us better people. The biggest advice that I'd give the young athletes that are going into college or college softball would just be to work hard. I mean, you're gonna get challenged every single day. Um, I know it's cliche, but get in there and earn a spot and just be a great teammate. Wherever your coach needs you, just play. Play that spot. It could be different every year. It could be different every game. Just work hard and fight for a spot and play.